Right lads, welcome to Victoria 3, where today we are going to be attempting to form Arabia. Right, so we're playing as Egypt, and it shouldn't take us too long to do that. But beyond that, I want to unite what is perceived to be the Arabic and potentially Islamic worlds. Uh, the Arab worlds being, of course, uh, around sort of this region here, uh, and then you've got, well, the Muslim world being a bit further out than that, uh, even down here uh, to a degree. You know, well, anywhere that there's a Sunni majority country, basically I'm gonna wipe out the Sunnis um, <laughs> by, uh, you know, just, yeah, that's a lot of Sunnis. Anyway, I'm gonna try and wipe out the Sunnis by, you know, putting them under me. So not really wiping them out. Anyway, <laughs> so we start out uh, with a very upset uh, Ottoman Empire right next door. Now, if I remember this correctly, the Ottoman Empire is not just on the decline, but their units haven't actually changed. So they've got 10, 15 over here, for example. Uh, 2025, uh, more 2025. So for the most part, 2025s, 20, uh, with a couple of 10, 15s. Of course, I'm talking about offense, defense. Ours, I believe, are also 2025. 20, oh no, ours, ours are a lot better. Okay, well, in that case, we're going to declare war on the Ottomans immediately. And we're going to research late, ha 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 ha, every time. All right. Uh, and some people are like, oh, well, if you just don't make the joke, then people won't do it. No, it doesn't matter. I can make the joke or not make the joke. People still do it. Uh, here we've got a lot of taxation capacity that being used and low market access in Crete, which I'll be frank, I don't particularly care about. Crete not being high on my list of priorities, they do nothing but produce fish. Apologies if you live on the island of Crete, but I've just dismissed your entire existence. Meanwhile, all this stuff is already incorporated, which is great to see. Anything unincorporated? Right, in our market, we're lacking every good apart from wood. All right, can I upgrade any buildings right off the bat? Yeah, actually, I just don't have any tools. Damn, okay, well, let's get a tooling industry going. Probably a bit, a few too many. How, how am I losing this much money? Military wages, because military buildings. I mean, I'm tempted just to just gun it, really. Okay, we have 25. How many do you have, Flutiers? You also have 25. I imagine not split like ours, though. Fortunate. Are you all Nile HQ and you are Ethiopia HQ? Screw it. I think, I think we go after the Ottomans. We have a truce for the next two years, so. Okay, when does that truce end? 38. So in a year's time, I need to switch back the military. But now, we can go ahead and just keep them at regular infantry. Nothing fancy. That should give us all the money we need to prompt our construction sector. Sort of banking everything on this. I will drop our current rank, but that's okay really care about that. I just killed someone called Napoleon. Why are you? Oh, you're French. Why are you here? Religion is 99.99% Catholic, but he's a, he, just the smallest percentage of Jewish. He's not sure. He's very con confused as to why that's the case, but it is the case. He cannot deny. All right, let's keep building uh, some construction sectors. And over here, I do want to yeah, get the tooling industry up and running properly. We're going to get pig iron tools. Assuming we have got iron mines. We don't use any iron? Let's get a couple of those for us. And are we using... Oh god, we're using wooden buildings. Okay, let's get iron frame. I'm hoping to, to sort of burst onto the scene before the French and, well, specifically Austrians, have a chance to spike their economies. I'm going to preface this video with, the, with saying that I finished my exams and I am very, very tired and suffering from lack of sleep. It's very late at night, and so I've bought myself a coffee. Uh, I'm going to conceal the logo, you know, in case you couldn't tell who that was, because no free advertising, damn it. Uh, we can actually probably grab a couple more construction sectors here. And now we need to flip our stuff back to what it was. Okay, well, we need intensive uh, agriculture to help with our issue, because we have a current, currently we don't have a good uh, amount of grain in our country, which is going to be pissing. So we have no sort of... What laws do we have? Oh god, we still serve them. Okay. And it's just the armed forces in government? Why? <laughs> oh, it's because you're part of the armed forces, so you have to be there. Okay. We're gonna do this, then we're gonna try and abolish serfdom off the bat. Let's get some consumption taxes on the way. Dude, tobacco, that would be a good one. Close coffee. GDP is all grain, isn't it? Okay, well, if we're a resource-based economy, we will lean into that and just encourage our agricultural. I imagine the Sinai is not a significant producer of our GDP. I imagine it's just here. Yeah, uh, you got 3.4, 5.5, 6.1, 3.1, 0, uh, 0, 11 percent. Okay, so it's just though it's basically just this crest. You guys, I mean, you you're a thing. Oh, actually, you're 10 percent. My bad. I, I do. I'm sorry, Blue Nile. I, I do apologize. You're like the second biggest producing state. If that's the case, let me grab our little decrees here and uh, get out of here, Syria. Blue Nile it is. Right, we are going to suffer a bit. Compensate, I'm going to drop down that. Tempted to increase taxes. There you go. The reason we've done that is so we can go over here. Harvesting tools, harvesting tools. We did have an iron shortage, which is what was causing this. And now hopefully we try and fix the iron shortage. I'm, I'm gambling a lot on this early economy working, which in hindsight, I don't think is a good idea. 
Because our arms industries are also suffering. I've basically just stalled our economy. It's okay. That's fine. In the meantime, we can do this. I uh, also would like to get this going. Uh, I imagine we could neuter you by taking Constantinople, because this looks like a decent province. Yeah, we'll give it a go. Okay. Conquer that. 40 infamy. That's a lot. Because we're an unrecognized power. Multiplied by 5 due to the total population of the target. Well, we'll have to reduce that. <laughs> Did I just accidentally advocate for genocide? All right, let's import you. Let's import you. Do you have an inactive trade route? Let's get rid of those. Also, can we get rid of all the useless ones? They're all kind of decent. Okay. Uh, I should actually probably be mobilizing these things. These things being people, of course. All right, and we're going to wait until the last moment. Go here. And now we're going to get war operations from the Ottomans. We want Adana because we already have it as a state. It's going to be a big war. On Ankara. 40 infamy. I think I can swing that. What's my infamy currently? Yeah, we can swing 40. In fact, we want to form Arabia quicker. Why don't we go after Baghdad, Mosul, and Basra? Okay, let's do that instead. Conquer state. It's only 14, so now we're like 60, I think. In Baghdad, that's like 80. Do you think I can take Basra as well? Okay, that works. Anyone else an offensive planner? Right, here we go. That's a good start. I'm just going to chuck a naval invasion in and we'll see how it goes. I don't have much faith in it. First serve them abolished. Wonderful. We already have per capita taxation. That's rather odd. So we didn't have, we had agrarianism despite the fact that we had, okay, sure. Make our government a bit more legitimate. Yeah, only, only five of the ships are here. Okay, that's going to hurt. Ooh, okay, finally we pushed through. Excellent. I need to open up a second front, to be honest. Maybe a bit grueling, this one. Plus two interest. This will make the, the boys loyal. By boys, I mean this lot, which gives another 15% offense defense, which as you can see has already had a marked impact because we need to win this war sharpish and very sharpish indeed. We will start to go bankrupt soon. Isn't as bad as you think in this game, but I'd rather avoid that. Okay, we do have the split front that we needed because we need to be pushing on multiple fronts here. Okay, this is all good. Okay, now is where we push on all fronts. This is going to cost us even more. Ah, that sucks. All right, there's soil and rich farming. And then we're going to start to go bankrupt any second now. Okay, we're going to pause this. Let's go. <laughs> Just raise basically what our war tax is at this point. Didn't actually want that to go through. <laughs> okay, but now it has. Making some excellent progress on the eastern front. The western front, not so much. Well, the far western front's doing quite well. When I mean, the kills speak for themselves, the cost of war also does. There we go. Start pushing them back, boys. Double their offense. It does appear that it was a white piece for the uh, accumulation war. <laughs> the navy is getting involved again. <laughs> Obviously, it's not, but <laughs> the icon's there. Oh, and that's what we wanted to see. Right, push through before he arrives. I need you to go over here and then switch and defend this front. All right, now we begin to push them back. If we can get across into their capital, it's game over for them. That's rather frustrating, isn't it? So we have four fronts, five fronts in this case. We do not have the populace to, to handle it. Come on. Okay, we've reached the Ottoman capital. For whatever reason, these fronts aren't unifying. Okay, we're all good. We're all good. Come on, laddie. Okay, he's starting to take heavy losses. Okay, this war's done. All right, that's very useful indeed. We might have... Right, look, the reason I want to go early is because the uh, Ottomans usually in this patch, for whatever reason, uh, end up in the sphere of the, uh, it's well, of the Austrians, which is never something you want to see. Okay, let us go ahead and now drop you guys down. Do regular infantry, you did your job. Let's stop paying the army. Drop down a tax bracket. You wanna ban slavery, dude? We'll ban slavery. Slaughterhouses are going. Okay, we have textile mills now. I'm gonna go for that, in the assumption that we can get a dye input coming in. I don't know how much dye we need. Uh, we currently get in 10 and we need 40. Uh, but it, no, actually, it should be enough. Trade should, uh, yeah. I don't think we could afford that, so instead we'll just start building them. It's so expensive to build. Okay, let's uh, pause this construction. I think I'm gonna get rid of these construction centers, right? Why can't we afford it? It's six construction sectors. It's not like we're doing anything mad. And you can't afford it. The paper, okay. Uh, let's get some paper mills going. Incorporate these states. Uh, also, the government administration here, I'm gonna switch down to simple organization. Ah, oh, Jesus. Uh, so I can't, I can't preserve it. So those the other people will revolt. Okay, well actually they'll only revolt by 53, that's fine. Bringing that legitimacy for now. Okay, I think we're safe. Time to turn to the world of diplomacy. Relations with you, with you, you're a bit useless then, uh, France. Would you perhaps want a defensive pact? No, even though you're protective of me and you like me. Wow, this is disgusting. This is horrible. Why do I keep drinking it? <laughs> Right, we have insufficient station capacity over here in Egypt. Lower Egypt, that is. Uh, do we not have government administration? Oh, we already have filing cabinets here. Okay. Yeah, GP's kind of crumbling, I'm not gonna lie. I went to war way too early. Can't export 
tools are. And apparently, man of wars? Lacking services and grain still. Greater construction sectors. And we've got temporary national revenue to help soften the blow. Start actually producing things. Okay. So what are we lacking in from an industrial point of view? Loads of iron. Okay. Well, what we can do over here on the ye old iron mine front is switch you out to this. But we don't have any coal. Surely we can import coal, right? You will have coal. Everyone loves coal. You know, who, who doesn't like coal? We're lacking 61 as well. It's not exactly like a tremendous amount. And yet, it does appear that coal is a, a bit of a shortage. Trade agreement? Yes. Sounds good. What am I lacking in now? Iron seems okay. All right, let's just get some industry that will benefit our people going. Blue Nile is going to become the industrial hub. Please give us more throughput from our iron mines. Do we still have a shortage? No, we're good. Okay. And you don't still don't have any infrastructure. I need you to switch over to a cargo port and that will give us even more infrastructure. You still? No. Just about on par. Okay. And we're wiping out our debt pretty handily. Okay, this is this is this has gone well. This has been rather sustainable thus far. Almost went bankrupt a couple of times, but we were fighting, you know, the Ottomans, the remnants of a great power, which are now minor power. Who took their place? It's Spain, isn't it? No, Prussia. There's only six great powers. I'm sure we can have up to eight. <gasps> I thought we dropped down into uh, a minor power. Okay, so we need one of the major powers to like us. By like us, I mean we need to kick their ass enough so that they recognize us. Russia is always a good shout for that because they have no real command over their economy or armies. If we can build a modern army in time, then yeah, that'll be the play. I want to bring the Ulema into government, and then we can switch it up and grab some religious schools. We'll get our population a bit smarter. I'm only missing three now. Oman, Nejd, Hejaz. We can go after this lot pretty easily. We do need pan-Arabism now. Pan-Arabism, pan-nationalism. Pan-Arabism is what we're trying to perpetuate. Okay, still no services. Okay, development. If we switch over to... Oh, hang on. Yeah, skirmish infantry. We don't have anything close to what we need for that. Not get ahead of ourselves, Lath. Get some sawmills going. Where are the urban centers? Probably some market squares. Should help with the services side of things. And then you'll kill us. That's fine. Bang. Sounds good. Need a couple more government stuff. I don't know how much they do each one of these. I've never actually checked. Okay, plus 10. How much do we need to fully tax this place? I've put four in, or five. Actually, five, that's perfect. The perfect amount. Now making a decent chunk of change, we can probably grab one or two more. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you recover from a slump. Uh, usually, I, I go quiet and I just I just generally fix my economy on the, uh, on the down low. And then I come back to you with a fixed economy, but a couple of the comments wanted to see how you do it. Um, so I thought this time I'd commentate over it. Um, and this is my way of telling um, Mr. Kindrod, who's editing this video, could you kindly include a lot of that uh, uh, economy building stuff in? Thank you very much. <laughs> Such that then the people can understand that it's not that detrimental. You can go all the way into the red. Um, and yeah, your economy will suffer for a little bit. As you can see here, it went to a slight decline whilst we managed things. And now we're back on the up. Yeah, I've got us some railways. That's useful. Not so I'm just going for purely productive stuff at this point. Do want to go for the Pan-Arabism stuff pretty soon, but it's it's quite far away. Uh, let's focus on our military for a little bit. For that, we need munitions plants. Do you have any sulfur? Please tell me we have sulfur. Okay, perfect. Yeah, we do. Okay, let's actually start stuff. So we need lots of grain still, uh, and also furniture. Really? Furniture? But using some lathes, put them to work. Steel, of course. Why am I not making steel? Uh, let's get two in Middle Egypt. Uh, we are going to coal for that still. Oh, we have coal. Oh, that's amazing. Lebanon's goated. Lebanon's goated. Excellent. Grab two more construction things. And we're off to the races. Very impressed with that. The thing is, right, I ordered this coffee as part of like a little snack, right? Oh, religious schools. Uh, and so, but it, but it came very late. And now it's like kind of close to bed. So I don't want to keep myself up, you know? Okay, that's one steel mill. Second, so what we're going to do is switch over to here and go for... It's going to create a shortage, but it's going to mean that we have more tools overall. It's going to kickstart you. Here we can go for the Bessemer process, which is going to make iron and coal very expensive, but coal should drop off in price pretty soon. Iron will be doing quite well. Well, uh, in fact, let's not do anything in, in Eastern Thrace just yet. Just focus on Lebanon, Palestine. And you want to watch me hamstring my economy for a little bit? This is how we do it. Okay, we need more of a demand of steel. So we are going to get some motor industries and we'll build those in Eastern Thrace. And then from there, we create railways everywhere and we create a booming economy. We now probably don't need to import any coal. Dude, we need so much iron. <laughs> let's drop a couple of these because we don't need coal as badly as we need iron. What do we need? More construction sectors. Okay, institution level is now number two on that front. Do you want police? Yeah, I don't think we need it. We dropped down to... <laughs> it used to be a major power, and now we're just not. 
What overtook us? Brazil. What was our prestige? Is that our prestige? Died? 133. Yeah. Okay, so our prestige is like trash. What's our infamy? Reputable. That's nice. Uh, do we want to start going after the other Arabs then? I don't really need to increase my... Well, anything for that. It'll definitely back down. There's no way it doesn't. We're about to add a whole 100,000 people immediately. Incorporate you. France, my side of the enemy. That's upsetting. Okay, well, either way, let's get our boys. By our boys, I mean my diplomatic guys who hurt relations. I don't like this whole damaging relations thing. Okay, well, I don't need to do it to you lot. I do it with Hejaz. Hail. Well, there's no one there. So they can have issues with eating. However, they're in a famine right now. See how, how much their population drops. We can see it, them die in real time. That's horrifying. Oh, nothing's in construction. Okay, we should probably... Okay, tools. We have steel. Don't have any grain. Loads of fabric. Export fabric. We could... I, I think we, we pretty much have everything we need. As far as I can tell. Uh, yeah, we've got steel. We just need glass and tools, basically. Sweet. All right, let's grab another five of you then. Glass works in decent Thrace. Oh, what's your turmoil for? Probably because we hideously discriminate against you. Oh God, we've got the great hunger. Algeria's donating to us, very kind. 38. Oh, in the Arabian HQ, I thought it was just in, in that one province. I was like, 38, that's more than the population actually has. Okay, we apparently need to chuck in a decree for emergency relief in Hail. I'm half Arab, it's, it's not racist. <laughs> uh, we also need grain, so let's actually start building that. Okay, infrastructure usage is horrifying. Are you two going on that front? Is it Blue Nile is where the... Where did I, where did I build the um, motoring stuff? Did I not? I built many to Thrace, okay. Yeah, you'll, you'll have to do stuff pretty soon. Right, there's the munitions stuff. Just quickly grab field works, pick it up anyway. Uh, max education investment, let's do that. Probably central archives, potentially. I mean, I mean, we don't really need it. We have a load of bureaucracy. Perhaps some egalitarianism. Well, let just get us a, the closest as a rival. Who, who are you? How's that allowed to happen then? <laughs> Man, at 16 battalion. And he's an unrecognized power. I suppose we're both unrecognized powers. Oh, buddy, old pal. All right, let me grab some more construction sectors. I'm gonna do this. We need some silk. I don't really care about down here. I'd love to get silk from the Qing, though. Really, the Qing do not have that much silk? Okay. I'm gonna buy it from everyone, then. But knows what we'll bureaucracy for. Ah. This is kind of a bad time for me, chief. If you don't mind coming back later instead of declaring war on me, that'd be wonderful. We're dead. <laughs> Anyone want to help? We felt we should be fine. I don't see what he's going to do here. He's got flotillas, but we should be able to fend off any sort of attack. I want to cancel some trade routes. Where's our arms industries? I mean, we're not going to be able to do anything to him. We can't land troops. The Transjordan Treaty Port down here, so him taking Eastern Thrace isn't going to even do anything. It seems a little silly. To be fair, if he lands initially, we're going to have an issue. All right. <laughs> Fighting the Russian. See if our admirals can't do anything here. They can't, to be to be clear. I just thought it might add some suspense. Do naval commanding things protect us? Wood is super expensive. I should probably think about other things, you know, considering we're about to get invaded by the goddamn uh, Russian bear. But wood is very expensive. Oh, it looks like they're turning up. Where are they invading? Oh, no. <laughs> okay, this is where things get interesting, ladies and gentlemen. Because now the Ottomans are having a go. On the other hand, oh, the French are supporting him. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, we may have to bow down to this one. What does he want? Palestine? That's, no, that's our, our quite an important center of trade for us. Okay, um, this is a conundrum. I can give you an obligation or I can offer a regime change or I can offer a treaty port in Tripoli. Seems like a weak offer, but worked apparently. Oh boy, okay. <laughs> okay. The French turning up is bad. <laughs> How do I do this? Because the second I turn up, here's the issue. I can only defend on this front because if I even remotely touch the uh, uh, Russian front, it's going to end very poorly for me indeed. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We are going to try and fight the Russians, Ottomans, and French all at the same time. We are going to add... It's a shame you can't, like, you know, get them to uh, annul treaties or leave sphere. Well, this feels like really limited options. Because what's happened here is that the French, unfortunately for me, have customs union the Ottomans and have an alliance with them. I can't annul that alliance, which is strange. Britain, is there nothing that you'd want from this? No? You sure? Okay. Mobilize you. Defend this front, please. Okay, the Austrians are going to go defend that front. That's good. No other front. Do I want to do anything else here? I don't know. Do I want Cyprus? Like, what, what, do, I, what do I need? Maybe I should form the Byzantine Empire? <laughs> How do you culture shift in this game? I don't know what to do. Okay, 25 maneuvers. I kind of want Konya, just so we can crawl up the coast. Although we're role playing it, because that's Arab. And if we're trying to unite the Arab world, we'll do that. Where's the Ottoman capital state? Why does it not show? Is it here? No, no. There's one with the Venga? Yes, okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Mobilize you. You're gonna push. Actually, Ibrahim's gonna push. And we're just gonna hope. <laughs> That's all we got. 
<sighs> hey, well, let's get to another institution. As a war is about to break out. All right, that's our second war. No way near white peace in huh? Okay. Well, we've, we've blitzed the Ottomans there. Just, no, please don't advance the front. If you advance the front, we march with them. <laughs> no. Here's what's going to happen. The Austrians are going to do, for the first time ever, they're going to be incredibly successful. Right? And that's going to be horrifying for us. Why? Okay, let's, uh, let's get you to defend that front. And Ahmed Pasha uh, is going to advance that front. And the reason that's terrible is because we're going to then have a, uh, a, a border with the Russians. Where? Ibrahim? Why, where, why Ibrahim? Why are you, why you... Oh, we're getting raided, aren't we? Oh, boys. Oh, well, just suffer it. We have much better troops than they do. Doesn't matter. 44 offense, and then suddenly it translates to 35. Why? Ah, oh, poor visibility. You little. Why are you neutral suddenly? Uh, what laws do you want? Go on, go on. Ah, oh, I know you'd love something like this. You would love a... Oh, you want a dedicated... Dude, I love dedicated police forces. That's great, huh? Now you're loyal. 15% offense defense. Thank you. Stop, stop pushing! <laughs> no, wait. We're getting pushed into. That's... That's worse? The French Navy as well. It's not like any common old Navy. Yeah, push from that front. That's great. Do that. That's... That's awesome. I love that. That's huge. Okay, nothing's under construction. Are we suffering anywhere? Yes. Everywhere. What do we have an issue with? Grain. Loads of wood issues. Okay. Do that next then. <laughs> Give it a shot, boys. Give it a shot. The issue is, he had 58 ships. Boys, I'd appreciate it if you could push through in one of these back. Like okay, either. Dude, come on. It's six versus six. How are you losing that? Oh, God. They're taking us out from behind. Okay, so they took back Eastern Thrace. That kind of sucks. Because that was our main route in. Now pushing into our territory here. The bright side, the Ottoman troops seem to have run out of supplies. Let's take out Tripoli. Yeah, such a huge issue with wood. Okay. Well, don't do it in Eastern Thrace. We don't even have that much wood in Egypt. Well, there's our education investment increased. It does appear the uh, the Ottomans will bow out, though. Why are you negotiating participant? We have such an issue with everything because we're getting raided. We have no dyes. There are none coming in. At least the Great Hunger terminates soon. And this war should be over soon as well. So we can get back Thrace and hopefully get back to our ways. Ugh, God, this has been horrible. Grain, wood, furniture, and more furniture than anything else. They are pushing us back, but I think the Ottomans will peace out before then. It's because we have Basra. And I didn't... So you don't want to put too many of things down because otherwise uh, you won't get the war sport side of things. France is pieced out. Like, war score is is crucial. Uh, and because there's a thing for getting 100%, if you have only mild uh, demands, then you'll get close to 100% than if you have, like, ridiculous amounts. Okay. Well, there's that done. I don't know if I want a dedicated police force. You know what? I think I do. A lot of time well. All right. Can we go back to actually importing things now? Why are you in the Egyptian market? Can I not attack you if that's the case? I don't care. I'll figure it out later. Uh, we need more dye. That should start flowing back in. Oh, all that time wasn't actually paying the military. Yeah, that'll that'll do it. <laughs> that'll do it. Wait for the Russian to peace out. They've made no sorts of advancement, by the way. They've, they've tried nothing. Dedicated police force. There goes all our money. Just because these guys are all mobilized. So we're gonna have to not construct. The uh, the Russians are basically destroying our economy right now. Uh, because all of these guys, you can't like demobilize them once they're mobilized, and we had to mobilize them to fight the Ottomans. Previously, I would, they were happy just to be demobilized and so we could sit there making money. The main issue with the Ottoman War wasn't that they were attacking us and burning our land, that always sucks, but it's because uh, it forced me to mobilize my troops, which means that uh, I, I then have to pay for them afterwards because of this war, because I'm constantly in it. Uh, and the Russians aren't going to be peacing out anytime soon. As you can see here, the military goods and military wages is costing us 40,000. Kind of huge. <laughs> Rather not do that. No more Great Famine, but we are basically just losing money. But even with everything paused, we're losing money because the government goods and wages and stuff keep on going up. We're gonna have to resume. Screw it. Keep building, boys. We're just gonna have to creep close to that edge point and then take all our credit. Of course, we have to pay a lot of in interest, but he, I assume he's not gonna do anything here, so I'm just gonna do down my troops, stand them down a little bit. Rain is not a good import for us. Wood is probably is, right? We barely have any. Export some hardwood. Let's export some meat. Never be ready, Russia. Can't spend money to develop a way to do a can opener. Still, like, lacking in ridiculous amounts of grain. Yeah, let's just focus on, on feeding our people first. That might be an idea. Actually, because it's agrarianism, should mean, yeah, okay, this lot will pay for it. So that's how we make our money. We feed our people, and because we're on an agrarianism uh, economic system, it means that the landowners will pay for it. So that's actually a pretty good deal for me. And the Russians will peace out. Okay, let's do that. Brilliant. That suddenly started losing me money. Okay, it's because the national revenue went. Okay. All right, we're going to have to shrink our construction sector for a little while. Get back on track. Apparently, we could export furniture. I don't want to do that, considering we're pretty sure we don't have a lack. 
My, my bad. Okay, in which case, yeah, we'll, we'll export furniture. Why not? I have to decrease it even further. Okay. Ah, I, I see everyone around me is in the French market. So yeah, for those of you who think that like uh, building an economy in this game is like all or nothing, uh, it's not. Uh, it's it, it goes up and down, uh, and that's the key part. Unless you're Austria. <laughs> Because all these guys have access to uh, different markets, right? Because they are great powers. And so they can exploit that. And obviously there's a snowball effect as well. I need 10 of these. I don't really want to put it over here though. You know what? No, we're not. This is why autosave comes in handy. Because as you saw, I just deleted three very productive indeed things. Because it doesn't ask you when you want to destroy that stuff. It just, you one click and it's done. Which is very annoying. Let's try this again. Industry. Textile mills. And we'll chuck them in Middle Egypt. And we need 10. Put a couple of upper Egypt as well. I'll make a slight profit for a while. Yeah, these early wars have been rather difficult for me to navigate. And I've been rather reckless. Because I thought it'd be more fun, to be honest. A lot of times uh, I follow the same trend line of like, okay, rest for a little while, then declare a war. Rest for a little while, then declare a war. I, think, I thought it'd be more fun to sort of go a bit mental for a little bit. I, I start to import wood instantly. Instantly embargoes me. Right, we're gonna go ahead and ga grab some gas street lights, which is gonna cause a shortage of fine. We'll grab some more in Lebanon. Where is in turmoil? For some okay, th this, like, I think I'm just dumb, but I can't see why they're upset. I wish it just told you. Oh, we're upset because we don't have enough of this. We don't have enough of that. It does not tell you. It just says you've got radical pops. Like other places, I understand, like, okay, maybe you have, you're radicalized at 48% because, you know, you're majority Greek, and that makes sense. Over here, though, you're completely Misri, and you're also, um, it's like Sunni. Like, you are the ideal citizen in the eyes of our current form of government. So why are you pissed? What bloody say. Also, the uh, radicals and loyalist system, I, I despise. <laughs> so if you're my tributary, am I not allowed to, like, take your land? No. Like a K. It's kind of sucks. Okay, in which case. Hey, congrats. Oh, huh, didn't know that was a thing. That was a bit of, they're trying to kill the Moroccans. Oh, Moroccan GDP check. I never, I never, <laughs> that's a roller coaster of Morocco. Not Tunisian one. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, well, hello there, Austria-Hungary. 130 million GDP. Every game, every game they're insane. Oh, what are you doing? Oh God, you're fighting. Okay, there's a lot going on. That was dramatic. What's, what is this? What sort of war is this? Or oh, was that the same war? Also, I want to point out how disgusting this flag is. Like, why? Just why? Like, add the crest. <laughs> Oh, Tripoli is independent. Right, I kind of want to become an empire now. I'm sick of this. Start working towards pan-nationalism. We need way agriculture in general. Okay, let's get a couple in Middle Egypt. Fact, how close are we to the next level of production? We're actually pretty close. Okay, let's go for the next level of production. We need uh, more food for our people. Also, I'm kind of rich right now. I don't know where Corfu Dano is. Okay, it's over here. It's Kaffa. E4, okay. I think Morocco was forced to submit. Were you? Uh, I don't think you were, actually. I think you survived. Damn, fair play, lad. Now, the USA has, well, almost historical borders. American Alberta. And, well, of, uh, you know, the, like, mild outcroppings of Mexican Colorado, which has gold fields, but I don't imagine you have too much. How do you have market? Okay, there we go. 0% market access. Now, we're going to start building up Mosul. Oh, what do you need? Fertilizer. Well, that should change pretty soon. How do you need fertilizer? We just built a ton of, uh, you know, that stuff. A good, good, you know. Uh, I've never described anything as that good good in my life. Uh, fertilizer. Need more? Okay. Right, I want to start burning actual cash now. Enact legacy slavery. Uh, I'd rather just ban it if it's all the same with you. Three years to research. Damn. Okay, or not. Let's just uh, continue our way on this. What is this? A tier three one. Tier two. What do we do? Taxation capacity. Doesn't help us. Post service doesn't help us. Siege, again, doesn't help us. You know what we can do? Let's do this. Let's grab... Um, Universities. Start stacking ourselves some 600 iron. That's a lot of iron. Let's also grab. Now we've got a couple of you. Go for baking powder. Uh, grab some canneries. And stills. Now I kind of want groceries for the for the boys. Uh, we can get sewing machines. Mechanized workshops. We could also do that. Don't have any lead just yet. Tools, iron, and wood. Yeah, we have a massive lack of iron. Dude, the Moroccans did it. They won, which means their GDP is about to go boom. <laughs> Because uh, let's let's put it this way. I think the French war reparations might do them quite nicely. What happened there? Did they surrender or is France at war with England? No, uh, someone's no, hang on. Austria and Russia versus Great Britain in the Kathiri War. Looks like the little guys are taking out the big guys. Meanwhile, the drawstring GDP has fallen off a cliff. I can only imagine because Britain was a large trading power of theirs. The same thing happened for the French. Oh no, is it a global recession? Oh boy, what's our GDP saying? Nope, not for us. We're all good. Public oh, schools sound fun. Oh, that's plus 60% conversion. I, I've never played as a theocracy. Dude, my next gameplay uh, playthrough is going to be a uh, papal theocracy. That's so much fun. Okay, I'm going to do that. <laughs> for a second there, I almost quit this video to go and do that. <laughs> But it will come out next video. Okay, we need, oh my god, just give me wood. Okay, I've, not, I've acknowledged how it sounded. We're all going to acknowledge that I meant in the game. 
all gonna be mature. Okay, 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 okay. Out of the four years it was before. Okay, now the Russians are just fighting independently. Good theory. Just to humiliate, just to humiliate Russia. Okay, I'm just gonna build every single logging camp possible. All right, we're gonna go for census suffrage and see if we can pass that. We have to enact restricted child labor. Why would we not do that? Okay, one second. Let's not get census suffrage for a second. Let's restrict child labor. But then when I do it, you don't want it to happen. I don't understand you. Sure. Well, let me restrict child labor to stop a revolution. Well, okay. Yeah, meanwhile, we might have to scale up production pretty soon. Our income is, is, is declining. Steel input shortage. How? Apart from all the bloody uh, tooling industries that we just made, which means that the price of tools skyrocketed, which means steel's in high demand, which means we need to create steel. Okay. You usually have to follow the logic backwards in these kinds of games. Why are you so slow now? I'm not even... Okay, I've incorporated you, but everyone's starving now. You know what? I want to throw these lads a bone. Uh, I've, I've kind of ignored them this entire time, and I feel bad. So go ahead and build you some railways and actually feed the people. <laughs> they have no market access. They didn't choose to be here. The population's declined about 20,000 since I took over. Okay, and because they got so upset about child labor, the landowners then left the government, meaning that I can't enforce it because they're in a revolution. You idiots. Meanwhile, GP is doing nicely as we take over Italy. Now we're about to start overtaking the major powers. Aside from the British Raj and the Qing, we are the largest non-major power. We said that we're also an unrecognized regional power, not even a major power. All right, dude, I tried. I added in a railway, but like, you're, you're pissed. Well, at least you're struggling now, not starving. Nice textile mill, idiot. Oh, I'm insulting my own people. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so we've got thesis. More importantly, we can now feed our people properly. Results in a shortage of fertilizer. That's fine. Oh, I just realized I never did this. I have a sulfur mine? Yeah, I need you focusing on a shortage of fertilizer, which means now we can justify creating chemical plants. Right, now we build all those universities. What's our innovation? Now it's, it's doubled. Literally more than doubled. Awesome. How am I building you? Why does it not? Okay, so over here, blue the, the blue Nile. You're going to lack. Start building a sulfur thing. So this is the issue with the early wars. Uh, is that I have I have kind of screwed us over in the long term uh, because instead of building my economy to a point where I can sustain war and then fighting war sustainably, I just took Constantinople immediately, uh, which is not a good idea. Let's start scaling back our construction, make sure we don't go into debt. Yeah, I was right, we need sulfur. Uh, Basra will do. All right, where do we see our economy going? Now we make a lot of grain. Everyone should be happy. As you can see, our standard of living is going up. We have furniture, we have clothing, paper is getting made. Wood is the issue. We need coal now. Okay, now I can start to focus on our industry because we had like a bad reputation with our people. Okay, this will do. What I could also do, now that I think about it, if we really want to go fancy with it, make the most amount of money possible, we switch over to steel passenger cars and unsubsidize it. Then go over to our buildings, go to the rural ones and get rail transportation. Now that means it's now profitable to build railways and we can build them everywhere to spike our economy. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Good for us. And then we can go, as you can see here, money go up. All right. And then we can go ahead and spike it even more by getting transportation everywhere. We're going to take a hit initially, but we're restricted to trial labor. Always nice. You know, I'm going to gun straight for pan-nationalism. It's not the most efficient thing to do. We're doing it nonetheless because I really want to form Arabia. I also really want to stop drinking this coffee. Our Korea is, is improving relations. We have much to discuss. Mr. Huan Yi. You like the Yang Bangs? And, uh, well, I like landowners, apparently. Not know that that was the case with this guy. Thought we enjoyed a little bit of the military. Did that change? Did we... Did our king die? Did not know that. You are angry at me. That makes sense. Still not being able to do too much on the laws front. Um, did one or two things. Uh, we banned slavery, which is nice. Kind of want it back. Not being able to do anything in terms of the distribution of power, which sucks. Oh, we got multiculturalism. And everyone endorses it, apart from the Sunni zealots. Uh, I mean, Lema. Let's do that. That will hopefully stop our people from being pissed off. And by people, I mean this lot. Let's see if that helps. So that's 39% right now. Is there everyone else is is either in our religious or cultural group. And in most cases, both. This should be good. GDP has actually done really nicely as of. Okay, so I haven't like screwed us that badly in the long term. All things needed for our survival and wood. Okay, well, transportation's getting fixed. That's fine. People can now whiz all over the place. Uh, iron, coal, and tools. I think iron is getting in the Eastern Thrace. Hmm? What's that? Revolution? Preserve racial segregation. I feel like I can't click that button on YouTube. Uh, that's just not a good look. Doesn't matter if it's a video game or not, that's just not good. Ha, huh. Rodishu France, nice. Radicals from discrimination. Well, that's going to change pretty soon. We're going to be multicultural. Shortage of paper, you say? Okay. But why do we have a shortage of paper? Why is the game not telling me about it? Oh, it's communist French market, it's not me. I really just wanted to help. <laughs> okay, how much are you short by? Uh, 20. And how much will this help you? Adds 15. Probably need another one. Railways take ages to build. 
So we're kind of a ways off of anything productive there. What more declared interest, though? Flying back to where we once were. Uh, let's get an interest in Italy, why not? Revolutionary Communist France has actually taken out France. This is amazing. And we've got multiculturalism. Wonderful. So does that mean that you are more likely to go down? No. You're still pissed off. From what? <laughs> Tell me! Your culture is accepted, your religion is accepted, you have a good standard of living. I've provided everything that you need to survive. You are literally bang average when it comes to our uh, standard of living, as well as the fact that you only expect to be struggling. What do you have to complain about? Please tell me. You're fully integrated, but what is it? I don't understand you. You're costing me 10K a week in unrealized taxes. Okay, so the Ulema and the Petit Bourgeoisie are upset. Is there any way I can rectify that? Imagine religious schools doesn't help. We actually have plenty of good because we don't have to worry about it later. Uh, we could do this. All the staple goods are covered, so everyone should be super happy. Well, apart from wood, but when have we ever been able to actually do anything with that? I can get loads of wood from the Russians. Why am I not doing that? Why do I care about down here? Uh, you know, what? why do I care about Italy? Russia, my friend, my buddy, my pal. You've embargoed me. Kind of crazy. Weird idea. What if you didn't? Uh, he's very hostile. That's not happening. All right, you know what? I'm going to embargo you as well, bitch. <laughs> All right, so the Ottomans are in a defensive pact with... Are they not in the market of the... <gasps> French market, which is for some reason red. Oh my God, they're communists. It's red front. It's so cursed. I love it. Oh my God, I'd die for you. You are ridiculous. So you're communist but you have cultural exclusion. And your economy isn't a command economy, it's interventionism. We've got pan-nationalism, does that mean, is it time? No, I need to kill someone first. Okay, that could be arranged. Hey man, I've been brewing this for a while. You may side with the enemy. Uh, okay, I feel like if I do anything, Russia's gonna count them here. Instead, we could just fight the, uh, the Ottomans, I guess. Are there any other states I could go after? Oman, Hejaz, Nez, crucial states. I need, can I need the man. Ah, oh, it's upsetting. Okay, I need to fight Russia. Not an impossible task, just an improbable one. Okay, well, let's fight Russia then. I've decided. Okay, that means that we need a couple of munitions plants. Uh, probably five will do it. Uh, we actually need a lot of... Right, let's start working our way down here. Breach loading artilleries. Let's start actually building up a competent army. I mean, our, not that our army isn't competent. It's okay. We also need a land border with the Russian uh, to be able to push on. So I think I'm going to have to fight the... Ottomans, which honestly shouldn't be tricky. That should be stage one. Stage one fight the Ottomans. I mean, our armies are ready, aren't they? No, not at all. In fact, you know what? Let's wait for skirmish infantry. I think that'll be better for us. Uh, so I need you lot. Where are you? Chemical plants need to start producing. Uh, start warming up to that process. Never weeks for munitions plants. It'd be great if I had a decent, competent navy. But I think it's a bit much to ask for. Actually, if I made ironclads, maybe? How close are we to ironclads? I mean, I could take it in 20 months. No, it's like late. Don't. I always I always go too excited on the navy in these games. Let's, let's focus on a pure land force. I haven't done that for a while. All right, perfect. You need lead. I did not foresee that in place. Okay, put you over to skirmish. Grab ourselves some lead. Oh, you're antagonistic towards me, Persia. Mm hmm. So, not a good idea for you, bud. Oh, like, it's just, I don't know. What did they do to it? Now, more places are in turmoil. Why are you in turmoil? Stop it. <laughs> just, I don't understand why you hate me. It doesn't make sense. I didn't do anything wrong. Dude, just, just tell me what it is. Is it the government? It's contested, but it's not like horrifying. What can I do to make you happy? I went multicultural. Why are you still be? You're even more pissed than before. I don't get it. I don't understand. And like, honestly, quite frankly, I don't care to know. It doesn't matter to me. I've played every game so far, not understanding that system because I think it's stupid and it doesn't work. Also, Europe's a hideous mismatch of colors. Did you really not take Colorado this entire time? Notice to fade to floor with my plan. Sinai does not possess enough people. <laughs> this to be a viable option that's my only source of lead i think i've just destroyed my whole uh, economy curious <laughs> very curious indeed and russia it appears is now conciliatory towards me i was about to swear i was about to tell him to go and do something you're getting some lead now and the barracks are getting supplied breach learning artillery the next step need even more <laughs> people have been complaining about the differences in living standards between us and our neighbor begemda the unrecognized power. <laughs> Classic global inequality. So France went bankrupt, it appears. France went bankrupt and they don't have any allies. Don would ally me. Be a great moment. But instead, I think I have to fight the Russians still. But let's flex our muscles a little bit, shall we? <laughs> the Persians immediately went, nah, fam, you're on your own. All right, I'll take Konya, thank you very much. As in, Konya, give me this land, please. Don't click off, I swear. I'm not, like, I'm, I'm tired. 
I was about to say I'm usually funnier than this, but honestly, this is as good as it gets. I'm actually pretty proud of that joke. In the Vanguard, uh, give me war operations. Hmm, I could have made you a vassal, but the infamy cost would kill me. Oh, I should probably get myself. This one has syphilis, but he's an experienced defensive strategist. I imagine that's connected to the syphilis. He's a mountain expert, tactful, as well as an open terrain wanna put it is addicted to crack. Damn it, there's a lot of choices here. All of them so good. Uh, military wages, morale recovery plus 20%. That sounds good, let's get that. Parker, mi, mi amor. No, I don't know why I went Italian, man, but... Russia, come on, why, 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 what did he promise you? You promised him the liberation of crazy, you son of a bitch. <laughs> let's see how well this one goes for you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill you all. <laughs> Bro, the tools industry is... Oh, I'm gonna get... Oh, oh, oh. He's gonna raid my convoys. My troops will be better than his, because mine are cutting edge, but... Come on, man. All right, let's promote you. Do I have any battalions in reserve? I do. In Anatolia. Offensive strategist. You also have syphilis and are addicted to crack, so... Basically, it's the best of both worlds. It looks pretty simple. Mobilize, go on this front. Dude, export offensive planner! Let's go! Mobilizing over there. You will defend this front, and is it Pasha will defend. So it appears the thugs came to play. It also appears you're too late to stop this battle. You are not. You in fact have a lot of defense. Okay, I'm gonna have to play this one as smart, which sucks because I'm very tired and my brain's not working. Okay, well we do have like ridiculously high defense. Only one way to win this war by doing something I I always do. What law would you like me to put? You want you want censorship? You, you love a little bit of censorship? Yeah, you do. That's plus 15 offense and defense right there. For some reason, it's not a sliding scale. It's just straight up plus 15%. They just like me more. Should be enough to win. All right. Attrition means we're going to have to retreat from this front. Just not tenable. Okay. And now we can focus our efforts on this front here. It does appear that the uh, Austro-Hungarians are taking advantage of the situation, but it does appear also that Prussia isn't getting involved this time, huh? It's pretty racist if you ask me, Prussia. Oh, God. The I'm still jealous of Ben Degger. Who are they? Really? They have that much infrastructure. What do you even have? They got glassworks, food industries, tech. Like they're, they're nothing. Bloods, they're important. They literally have a worse standard of living than us. You want right of assembly? You can. Uh, you can have right of assembly. Screw me over. Okay, time to pause our economy. Of course, the Austrians back down in that play. It makes sense. They got a treaty port. Did they just take a chunk out of me? Did they just take a chunk out of me? Because I'm fairly certain that that was my land. <laughs> I had Eastern Thrace. So how the hell? That better be a, a Northern Thrace treaty port. Swear to God. Yeah, Northern Thrace. I was about to say, if they somehow finangled my land, my land, I'd be very upset. Their GDP's falling off a cliff. That's okay. Okay, because they won't return a Dana, it'll be fine. I just gotta keep killing them. Well, that's gonna be a rough few years. But yeah, we're gonna kill the Prussians. But we can't physically go below zero. And the Ottomans? No, because we want Konya and Hudavinga. We need to push them back a little bit more. Doesn't look like they're gonna nip into Mosul. All right, we're gonna put our defensive strategies on. Shockingly defensive. See if that helps. Otherwise, hunker down, boyos, because we don't have the ability to uh, facilitate any imports or exports at all. The key one is getting raided completely. We have an ace up my sleeve, but it's gonna take a while to develop that ace. It's ironclads. The ace is ironclads. I said I wasn't gonna do a naval thing, but this game's literally all about navy. And when people realize that, it's a, it's a moment uh, of, oh God, look at that. Jesus Christ, the GDP is collapsing. But like, why did they come into Mosul? Why would they not just push us back from here? Who decides this? And there's ironclads. So now we pivot. Okay, now we pivot everyone to iron. Use steam trawlers. Better for you. Even without construction, our economy is collapsing. It's reduced, uh, shrunk about 10%, uh, which is terrifying. Thing is, when we get into a fight with the Ottomans, like here, we push forwards. Watch. It's when we fight the Prussians that they, they, they're really hardy. We have the same stats. It's horrifying. The economy's really tanking. Like, it might be a good idea to just pull out this war. Look at that. That's the issue. Why are you struggling? Oh, the lead situation. Expert naval commander, thank you very much. Now we do have ironclads, so we should be able to take them out. The, uh, the unfortunate thing is that because they want to liberate Crete, I can't separate white piece them. Even though they want to peace out for a white piece, I physically can't do that, which is stupid. That might be the dumbest thing I've seen in this game. I can't negotiate a separate white piece if they're a negotiating partners, even though they would say yes to it. So they'll just capitulate? Okay, well this, that, this should be a route now. Was it worth the economy crashing? I don't know. But at this point, we can grab our supply routes back. My god, do we need them? This one still wouldn't take a white piece, by the way. Look who the Vengar. Oh, I haven't taken who the Vengar yet. Okay, well, that's about to change. Also, I naval evaded and took my land back. The race, by the way, is uh, really important because it produces all of our uh, bureaucracy. <laughs> so this should be it. Taking the entirety of the Balkans. The Ottomans allying the Russians, the Prussians, the French. They did a number on us, but that is that. 
done. Now we can focus on building up our economy once more. All right, some time has passed. I have fixed our economy. Uh, we are losing 110k, but that's because our economy is a lot bigger now, as you can see by this amount and this graph here. That's where I left you, that's where I am now. Uh, like I said, a lot of the reforming economy stuff, not gonna lie, mostly boring uh, reshuffling of things, but that's, that's fine. That's something I do off camera, because then you get the fun, interesting side of things. Like, for example, the fact that our flag is now green. Because we're an unrecognized major power? No, it's not. It's because we're a uh, Khadivate. Basically, I changed our uh, government to- God, <laughs> why have the Brits done that? Why is that a thing? Why would you not just split the island in half? Oh, oh, I don't want to look at that anymore. It's down here, Central America reformed, but it's in three parts. Don't want to play this game anymore. <laughs> in any case, uh, yeah, like I said, watch. If I just pause this, suddenly we make like 40k. So it's really not that big of a deal. Uh, I can chop this down. Uh, in fact, we'll take on some debt just to get this electricity going because that'll boost our economy a bit more. But yeah, so I changed our laws a bit and uh, and now we're green. I'm wondering, Lath, why do you have so much administration when you could be spending money elsewhere? Because I want to do this. To pay the Suez Ismuth. It's going to cost us a thousand bureaucracy for the next two years. The sheer lack of clothing that our people has is actually ridiculous. Well, it's because we export it. We'll protect the domestic supply and lower that a little bit. I don't want to feed into this beast. Look at it. It is stupid how fast our economy is growing. If they've got 300 million. It's triple our size. I mean, you're surveying the Ismuth. No, 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 no. We survey it. You don't get to build the Suez Canal. We build the Suez Canal. What happens if he does it? What if he surveys it? Eight months, or I'll check back in eight months then. Dude, proportional taxation is a game changer. Well, this is a game changer. I'll happily take a trade agreement with. Wait, no, I don't want a trade agreement with you. Cancel it. Cancel the trade agreement. How do I? How do I cancel it? Ca cancel. Cancel. Hey, trade, trade, trade. I've oh, got to wait a year. That sucks. We're making so much off of tariffs. Like we would send him a lot of goods. We barely import anything from him. That was a huge mistake. Do a survey. Don't tell me you've bloody done it already. Got 12 weeks left to survey in the Ismuth. If he does, if he surveys it and somehow like pins it on me, I'll be very upset. Ooh, the golden mean. Dude, the radical party been great. They're the ones that actually got me to have the uh, proportional taxation in the first place, which just unlocked newfound wealth. The radical party have dropped off and said the social democrat party. I want this lot in. They're about to take over the British. No, we're not. French GDP's just recovered to pre-communist levels. They spent all that. Look how much they're spending on developing a can of. This is not bankrupt anymore. Right, what, is, what are you saying over here? Yeah, I don't know. He's, I mean, he surveyed it and he'll kick my ass in a war. Revolution Montenegro is, uh, is about to get it. We got Montenegro, Greece, Serbia, Tripolitania, Austria, Hungary, and Italy all ready to kick his ass. I'm gonna grab a few more construction sectors. And this is also why we make a ton of money when I'll always have the money to spend on the construction side of things. Oh, I didn't even address the main reason we're making money, which is uh, the laissez-faire uh, system, whereby basically our capitalists just pay for buildings. As you can see here, that's never a good sign. Okay, let's start paying our army. <laughs> that survey is about to be completed. Our survey completed. Our survey of the, of the Suez Ismuth is complete. We have confirmed that it would be possible to construct a canal. 100 weeks, you say? Long ass time. About two years is not actually that bad. I can't fire him. He's been around for so long, this guy. He's absolutely hazy, but he's 78 years old. And quite frankly, he's a terrible commander, but still. Okay, we're making far too much. Let's start building more construction centers. Quite frankly, a worrying amount of construction centers. Like the amount of construction centers I'm building. Well, I've said it's worrying. Finally, we're taking on a lot of this burden. Expel our diplomat. Bro, why do you expel our diplomats? I'm just glad you got rid of your trade agreement. Most of our money off is off uh, tariffs from you. What do you need? What, what, what's going on here? Oil, you say? Well, it just so happens that we've discovered some oil in Baghdad and Mosul. The most auspicious day, indeed. All right, Suez Canal is about halfway done. Our economy is going to the moon. Our Hungarian has kind of tapped out a little bit. We are competing with Russia now. What Prussian flag is that? Why are there no crests, man? Is that, is that like, is that in everyone? They know he's got a crest. What are you, what's wrong with you? And why have you not taken Mexico, man? Basically, Colorado, just do it. It's not like they can employ anything here. But one livestock ranch. Why is Nova Scotia independent? When did that, how did that happen? Well, Portugal's also green now. Why? Don't get me wrong, I prefer it, but why? So it's only showing me my my loyalists. So every day we lose a lot of loyalists here. Great. At least our GDP is going up. Need more wood, need more fabric. Of course we do. More wood, more fabric, more coal. We need more, more of everything. We import lead. Oh, Swedes are kind of selling it. You conquered Benin? I don't think that you did. Morocco was fragrant. No, what's your GDP? Go on, show me your GDP. What the hell happened here? <laughs> 7.31. What about you? Again, similar thing. What, did you discover something? I don't... About to finish the Suez Canal. And now you can see a dotted line down into the Red Sea. Fortunately, it wants to work here. Okay, let me subsidize that and then nothing else. 
No, go walk in the Suez Canal. Get out of here. I swear to God, I'm gonna start firing people until they walk in the Suez Canal. All right, nice. You be prestige and urbanization. Awesome. Kicked. I've got a shortage of lead, by the way. I've kicked everyone out to go and walk in the Suez because I think it'd be funny. Hey, we did it. We created the Suez Canal. Our current prestige is how much? That would put us as like number three great power, number four great power. Got supply power, that's nice. Uh, unlimited power, without scandal, force step down. But more importantly, oh, well, let's go get a skyscraper, I suppose. But it didn't give me anything cool for the Suez. It just said completed. I thought I'd get an event at least. It's not even that good. What the hell is that? <laughs> doesn't even give me any... <laughs> it, what? it doesn't give me any um, infrastructure. <laughs> so there are, no one can actually get it. This is stupid. Still can't form Arabia. I need an edge. All right, are Russia going to get involved now? Because... It's been so long. Are you involved with anyone, Nedged? I've got a defensive pact with the Hasmid state, but aside from that, uh, relations are too high. I need that border of Russia, don't I? So the Prussians and Austrians are fighting, so hopefully they won't get involved this time. Either one of them. Where to go, none. The Austrians declare us as their rival. That's really cute. I need um, this one as well. Cars. What did I declare? Where's cars? Am I blind? Why can't I see it? I swear I can't see it. Okay, this is for Azurum. Ooh, I need to find the radical party. But where is cars? I'm not, ah, oh, dude, I'm tired, man. It's like, it's late at night. What? Ankara, he's that, like, Trabzon, Cyprus, Castamonu, Aiden. No, 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 no. There's no cars. I can take Trabzon. That just only leaves me this little front line to di You know what? Why don't we just go the other way? <laughs> Northern Thrace, Bulgaria, and Dubruja. Northern Thrace, Bulgaria. Now I can't see Dubruja. <laughs> it's not that. I'm not blind. It absolutely isn't there. So why can't I take those territories? <laughs> Also, is that going to give the uh, Austro-Hungarians a treat port in me? Because I take it? I, this is weird, man. Bruges not there. Neither is... Hmm. It's very interesting. By interesting, I mean I hate everything about it. He's going to back down either way. He's just going to give me a zero. Pfft, I almost back down myself. There's no way he fights this. Absolutely no way. What the hell? He actually fought it? I was not ready for this. Really did not think he was going to fight this. All right, you. For sure doesn't even have the... Oh, don't dance into my lands, please. He's going to cause devastation. That's, there's no one here. How are you losing? How have you lost? There's no... There's literally no one here. That is the worst loss I've ever seen. Very strange imbalance. Starting to run out of people somewhat. All right, are you done yet? I want a border with... Just, just with the Russians so I can go kick their ass. Like, that's it. In fact, what would be a good idea is if I do this. First, then we have a navy later on. I said I wasn't going to do full navy, and I'm not. It's just mild navy. It does mean that I didn't need to do any of this. So if I were to do... How to play? Conquer state. I can't... Oh, I didn't have an interest in cars. That'll be it. Oh, that's obvious, late. That's, that's, that's rookie. That's, like, scarily dumb. That's on me, that. I don't complain. Do a quick Moroccan GDP check. We always love to see those. Also, my standard of living has not changed. You have allied the Mexicans. Oh, no, it's Italy. My bad. You're in a customs union with Tunis. Well, that'll be why your uh, both your GDPs jumped up at that time. You suddenly started uh, sharing. But since then, it's been rather stagnant. Also, like to complain about something else, just because I always do. Who decided to make France red? The same, damn near the exact same shade as... Uh, there's Great Britain, in terms of their communist nature. Uh, I feel like that was a bit of an oversight. Who are we selling clothes to? The Austro-Hungarians. Uh, let's switch over our oh, construction over to... Maybe we do. Glass, steel, and explosives. A few more chemical plants. Losing half a million a week. Standard behavior. All right, we've created a skyscraper. I've actually never done this before. My skyscraper would not have been possible without the hard work and grit of the thousand people who dedicated themselves to its construction. Of course, as chief architect, I had perhaps more than impact than most. One might even say the lion's share of credit is mine. In fact, this is the pinnacle of human achievement. This new babble was born entirely from the machinations of my mind. <laughs> Look upon my works, or ye mighty despair. Wonderful. We've got 25 extra prestige. We are very prestigious. We're about to be even more prestigious when I do a little something like this. Do you guys over to the trench. At this point, I'm going to begin to scale down our construction side of things. It's wholly unnecessary to have this many at this scale. In fact, I'm going to switch over to this. So making a profit. And also not like killing our own economy. I'm not gonna lie, this, this was painful. Look at this guy still using line infantry. No well artillery. It's not gonna end well for you, bud. Also, England decided, or Britain decided to take a treaty port up here. And I don't like it. <laughs> Alright, so it's time for us to get the recognition that we absolutely deserve. Fighting Ching as well. Okay. Oh, Mexico banning the support though, so that's nice. Oh, right, that's what I was meant to do. Uh, and get an actual army. Give me some war operations. I take it from the Qing as well. Also, just because all the cool kids are doing it. I want a treaty port. Mm, in fact, no, I don't. Just because I don't know where those places are. <laughs> Jesus, that's different. 135 defense. I don't think you're getting through there. All right, there's the war. 
go raid Russia. Or in the mud. Yeah, I don't think you're coming through with your 27 offense. Not gonna lie to you. Killed like six of our guys. We're actually pushing through. That's remarkable. <laughs> Excellent. Now, here's what I'm gonna do. A long-term project, this. Every 20. We don't have any silk. Okay, we can change that. Ever resin turmoil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As we ease in and nip past the Russians once more. 142 defense. That's the highest in the world. That's ridiculous. Okay, here's why I wanted those guys. I'm gonna take up to around 20. Time to do the old naval invasion. <laughs> Just sit down. It's not working. Okay, well, I wanna see how many what the kills are. We've lost about 60,000 troops we've killed 200,000. Yeah, you don't have any uh, <laughs> uh, any ironclad, so that's not a fun day for you. We should land, actually. Yep, immediately land. And now we summon the rest of the lads to push in this direction, including the slithless ridden opiumatic. That guy always thought he was getting positioned in China. He was very excited. He's very disappointed to find out that is not the case. So whilst I was away, apparently the front line devolved and they've broken through. So it's split off into five different sections and he's just ravaging my land now. God, this game's dumb sometimes. It's just no, like, so it's split off into five different, into front, into five different front lines. And then my guy was in, you know what, Morocco, we can't have a trade deal, why not? My guy was in this one here, and then he just went home. And now we've got to push them out of my lands again. Or at least we are in his control of his capital. Well, we were, until we had to move everyone around. Oh, that's frustrating. Oh, great, there's another front line where we don't have anyone. I know where that might be. Apparently I could advance on this front, but there's no one there. Somehow I can get there, it's okay. We're traveling from shore. We're gonna, not gonna question it. And immediately, then I don't, I don't care anymore. <laughs> I lost interest in this war the, the, the second this whole caucus thing happened. Look at my stats. This was meant to be a complete route, and it was up until we were too successful. The front line split into five. My, uh, my general, weirdly enough, is not an anime character that could just split itself into six different uh, shadow clones. I think I'm using that reference correctly. I don't know. Don't really watch anime. Haven't for about five, six years. But I thought it'd appeal to the audience, so I don't want to lose my touch. Just that frustrated I'm making anime references now. Are you not getting through? Ah, oh, because he started with three times the amount of soldiers. Are you not getting through? Ah, oh, because he started with... Well, we started with the same amount of soldiers. Only we have trench infantry and he has line infantry. Uh, that counts. You want a council republic straight from monarchy. Screw it, let's do it. That sounds like fun. Can't imagine that there's not going to be a counter revolution to that though. The final tally appears to be we lost 200,000 and we killed 700,000. Specifically killed 400,000 and lost 150. Okay, so that's not bad. Uh, and I think we definitely softened them up for the Austro-Hungarians here. You, you can't imagine having to be fighting that many people. However, the Austrians are fighting who... Oh no, they're fighting the Ottomans. Oh, tell me the front line split again. I swear to it did. Well, thankfully we don't have to go through that mess again. Dude, do you just want a white piece? I don't care about Qing war operations. Awesome. So now we're a great power. Rank four great power. Somehow I think preserving the monarchy. It's a good idea considering there's 400% chance. Okay, now we're getting there. Now what we need to do is this. The final stage. Won't lie to you, I'm thoroughly fatigued this game. It's, it's been very frustrating. <laughs> uh, provided no one joins, he should back down. There's a squiggly line there at the end where I stopped caring about the economy. <laughs> I just wanted to get this done. <laughs> Come on. Just back down, we both know you're not gonna fight it. No one's gonna back you on this. Just die. I can't enact a council republic, otherwise people will rebel. Just shh. Which means, ladies and gentlemen, go ahead, for Arabia. Now, I did say I was going to unite the uh, North African and Muslim worlds, but it turns out that uh, every time I fought the Ottoman Empire, the Austro-Hungarians, the Prussians, the Russians, the English, the French would get involved. So, <laughs> slowed things down a little bit. That has to be the most frustrating game of Victoria 3 I've ever played. I did things in it like the Suez Canal and skyscrapers that I've never actually done before. So that was cool. We saw a communist France, which uh, I've never seen before, which is also cool. Uh, ended up as the number four great power, mainly because of our, uh, well, pretty insane prestige. And our economy is uh, second out of all the powers. Obviously, half the size of the Austro-Hungarians because they are insane. Uh, an ordeal. I think next time, I think I, I, I like the idea of doing uh, pure theocracy as the papal state and trying to convert everyone, going like full conversion. I think that, I think that is going to be the play. Uh, so we'll see. Um, which means in two, three days' time, that should be hitting your screen. Otherwise, lads, got a lot of uh, really cool plan stuff planned for 2023, especially behind the scenes, so do become a channel member if you haven't already. Otherwise, I will see you all next time. Goodbye. Huge shout-out to our patrons, most notably, Charlie Demorel, Krilly, Flyerton, JDow52, Cargon, Xiaomi, Lewis Wright, Nicole's Christ, QA Shard, Redguard, and Shadow Singer. Your support means a lot, guys. Whilst you're here, you might as well click on another video. I mean, it's, it's literally right there.